वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस एन पी टेल ऑनलाइन सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स ऑन बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस डिजाइन फॉर वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एन अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट सेक्शन विच इज कॉल्ड एज रिएक्टर हाइड्रोलिक्स मास एंड हीट बैलेंस तो फर्स्ट विल बी कंसनट्रेटिंग ऑन द रिएक्टर हाइड्रोलिक्स इन एनी रिएक्टर और सिस्टम वे आर सम कन्वर्जेंस आर हैपनिंग द फ्लो ऑफ द सिस्टम how the flow what is the flow pattern and what is the mixing pattern both have very important impact on the efficiency of that particular reactor similarly for waste water treatment also the reactants may be considered as the uh, water which is coming having some organic compounds so these organic compounds are like uh, reactants which are getting uh, converted into co2 and h2o which is the main target in aerobic system so that means these waste water treatment units can be considered as reactors so in these reactors also similar to the chemical engineering reactors uh, they have very important consideration with respect to what is the flow pattern and what is the mixing pattern so both have very important impact on the efficiency of the uh, waste water treatment uh, during the processing of the waste water or during the treatment of the waste water in these units so reactor hydraulics of any reactor is a function of the type of the flow that is what is the uh, how the flow is happening and the mixing pattern in the unit itself so any waste water treatment plant can be modeled with respect to hydraulic model by determining its flow pattern and the mixing pattern the mixing pattern depends upon the physical geometry of the reactor the quantity of energy introduced per unit volume and the size and the scale of the unit and various other factors so these this is reactor hydraulics is the thing that we are going to study in today's lecture in terms of flow so uh, we can characterize the systems into two categories either batch or continuous so in intermittent flow or batch so in this case we have discontinuous input and our output so in one of the cases like in simple batch process what we do is that we have a reactor in which the initially the reactants or the waste water flows and remains inside the reactor until the treatment happens for certain period of time then that will be dependent upon the hydraulic time or retention time so after treatment the wa waste water will be taken out so this is a process which is called a batch process in this there is no flow in or flow out during the treatment process it is possible that flow may be out or it is possible that flow may so that in those condition it is called as semi batch reactor now when a reactor is there like this reactor in which there is a continuous flow of reactant and the products are also being taken out continuously so both are continuously in process so that condition is called continuous flow where we have continuous input and continuous output now in terms of mixing pattern we can define various types of uh, reactors and these reactors are called plug flow reactor completely mixed reactor then we have dispersed flow reactor and then reactor in series are in parallel so we will be trying to learn each of them little bit so as to we can understand the concept and how they can be useful during the biological treatment of waste water so we are going to learn them each of them in greater detail so main types of reactor used in the sewage treatment or waste water treatment first is the ideal plug flow reactor so plug flow reactor that we are going to study the so ideal is the one which is same as what is the in during the ideal condition so ideal plug flow is the one in which each fluid element leaves the tank in the same order of entrance that means the fluid element which first enters in the tank leaves first the second one leaves in the second order and similarly third fourth fifth sixth so this is the this is the the meaning of this particular sentence the flow occurs as pistons moving from upstream to downstream without mixing between the pistons and without dispersion each element is exposed to treatment for the same period of time 
So, in this case the this is the plug flow reactor. So, in this case what we will assume that uh, we can see here there, there is a concentration C 0 which is entering and C E is the effluent concentration. So, this is the influent concentration along time, this is effluent concentration and concentration along the reactor at a time. So, what we do is that in this case like for understanding this particular sentence. So, uh, this is the reactor. So, in this case the flow which is coming. So, first there will be a first element which is entering so like a piston. So, this piston will enter and after some time this piston will move at this point. Then there will be another piston which will be entering which is just about to enter at this point and after some time uh, this piston will be here. So, that means the and there will be no mixing which is happening in between the pistons. The pistons the uh, fluids are not mixing among each other and there is no dispersion of the fluid any side. So, this is so this first element which is there and the second element this is first and second after certain time the first element will come out. Okay, and the second element is about to come out. So, there is no mixing between the pistons or the fluid pistons we are considering. So, this is called as plug flow reactor. Now, this is what is described depending upon whether the reactants are reacting or non reacting the profiles may be different. So, this is what we are going to study. We will take example and understand this. So, a reactor with predominantly longitudinal dimension has a volume of 3000 meter cube. So, it is given that a reactor is there which is having a volume of 3000 meter cube. The influent has the following characteristics. The influent which is coming to the reactor uh, is having a following characteristic which is 600 meter cube per day is, is the flow rate. Substrate concentration at the inlet is 200 gram per meter cube. Calculate the concentration profile, it may be considered as milligram also or gram per meter cube is ok. So, calculate the concentration profile along the reactor assuming an ideal plug flow reactor under a steady state in the following condition. In one condition it is assumed that the substance which is coming is conservative that means it is not degrading at all and in the second condition it is assumed that the substance is biodegradable substance which is getting removed uh, via first order reaction kinetics and the k is 0 0.04 per unit day. So, these two conditions are there. So, we have a reactor a long ideal flow reactor we do not know exactly the length, but we are assuming this is very lengthy. Uh, it is having a volume of 3000 meter cube the flow is coming which is having 600 meter cube per day is the flow and it is having a concentration of 200 gram per meter cube which is like 200 milligram per liter. So, this is same. So, this is the concentration and we have to find out what is the exit concentration under two conditions when k is equal to 0 and another when k is equal to 0 0.4 per unit day. So, this is there. So, we have already given reactor volume, influent flow rate, the substrate concentration, the hydraulic detention time is also known to us because we have volume known to us and q known to us. So, v by q is 5. So, we have 5 day is the hydraulic detention time for this particular reactor. Now, going further if we try to use the equations which have been earlier used. So, for the ideal flow reactor actually the for first order kinetics the expression is C 0 is equal to C is equal to C 0 e raised to minus k t. It is same as for batch reactor that already we have studied the reactor kinetics. So, this is the now if k is equal to 0 that means uh, the conservative substance is there and there is no degradation. So, this will be the C final or exit will be same as C 0 e raised to minus 0 t. So, that means, it will be same as 200. In this case, we have 0 0.40 is the k value the reaction degradation rate constant. So, we can find out. So, with time like uh, 
time travel time on one day, zero day, two day, three day, four day, five day. And with this we can find out that distance total upon total length. So, we can take like this and since for the first case when k is equal to 0 and another k is equal to 0.4 and initial concentration is 200. So, we can find out for conservative conditions when k is equal to 0 the concentration profile remains the same whereas, it decreases with increase in time. So, we can draw a figure like this the concentration in gram per meter cube remains constant and there is no mixing or nothing is happening with reactor distance whereas, the concentration decreases continuously via the first order reaction kinetics and we can see that at the exit the concentration is around 27 gram per meter cube for 5 day retention time. So, this is what is we are getting the profile is this is the profile and this is for ideal flow reactor. Then there is another type of reactor which is called as ideal complete mix reactor. So, the reactor with discontinuous flow or ideal complete mixing condition is the one in which all the elements that enter the reactor are at the same instant they are totally mixed or dispersed. So, this is the condition which is called as the ideal complete mix reactor. The reactor contents are homogeneous that is the concentration of any component at the same point in the tank is same at any of the point. As a result the effluent concentration is same as that of the point in the reactor. So, this reactor is like so this is a mixed reactor. So, we have one thing is that we have very continuous mixing so, that means this is all throughout continuous. Now, the influent is coming at some flow rate and the effluent is also going out at some flow rate. It is having a concentration C0. Now, suppose the concentration is C inside the reactor. So, inside the reactor there are two conditions which are getting followed. One is that that the this whole solution is solution is homogeneous. First thing that it is same or the reactor contents are homogeneous at any time and so this is at homogeneous or we can call them uniform. Now, this is true for this is also called CSTR complete mixed tank reactor. So, this is also called a CSTR sometimes it is called as complete mix tank reactor. So, remember this and for like activated sludge process can be modeled as complete mix tank reactor. Now, this is true for CSTR. Now, for ideal uh, for PFR the plug flow reactor that we studied earlier, the solution will not be homogeneous because in this case for CSTR any suppose this is the point. So, whatever is the concentration here same is the concentration at this point, this point, this point at any of the point. Whereas, in the ideal flow reactor uh, the plug flow reactor the concentrations are not uniform and uh, here the concentration is higher whereas, the here the concentration is lower as we have seen earlier. So, this is that means the for PFR it is not homogeneous non homogeneous is the solution and this is the difference and this is non uniform also or uh, we can see any of the, these things. So, the solutions is non homogeneous for the case of plug flow reactor where it, it is homogeneous for CSTR. So, this is the difference. Now, now bars balance for the reactor can be written like this. So, this is complete mix reactor we have C0 and the, that means there is another condition that if C is the concentration inside the C will be the concentration outside and if you are assuming C. So, it will be C here also. So, this is the ideal mix reactor complete mix influent concentration a long time effluent concentration then concentration along the reactor we can find out. So, for this case the balance in any of the reactor is generally written like this. So, we can write the balance in terms of actual values using uh, some calculations you can refer to any of the books 
and we will be finding that the different types of profile we can solve. So, one is for the conservative substances where the k is equal to 0, then biodegradable substance with reaction order like 0 order reaction, then biodegradable substance with first order reaction where the rate of reaction is written as rate r is equal to k c. So, we can have different conditions. So, under different conditions we can have different profile. So, it will be c is equal to c 0 or effluent concentration will also be equal to c 0 for the case where the conservative substance is there. So, this is concentration along inside the reactor or we can write that inside the reactor. The along the reactor will be more true for plug flow reactor and then for the case where 0 order reaction is the profile will be like C is equal to C 0 minus K T H. For first order it will be C 0, C is equal to C 0 divided by 1 plus K T H and the outside concentration will be same as any other inside reactor which is true for C S T R. So, for C S T R the effluent concentration is same as the concentration inside the reactor at any given time. So, these, these are the equations which can be used for solving problems related to C S T R and here in this case in the previous slide the C is the concentration at any given time in the reactor, C 0 is the concentration uh, influent concentration uh, which was the initial concentration k is the reaction coefficient or the reaction constant and d is the distance along the tank which will not be for the which is only true for the uh, plug flow reactor th is the hydraulic detention time we can find out. So, this is the question again a reactor has approximately square shape and good mixing condition as is having a volume of 3000 meter cube. The influent has following characteristics the flow is 600 meter cube, the substrate concentration is 200 gram. Calculate the concentration profile in the reactor assuming that ideal mix complete reactor uh, complete mix conditions are there under steady state in the following conditions when the conservative substance is there and then biodegradable substance with first order removal with k is equal to 0.4. So, same as for earlier example we are taking exactly the same. So, again the values are similar because the volume by Q is again 5. So, we have 5 day which is the time for the treatment. Now, for the first order we found out earlier that the equation can be written like this. The general formula is C is equal to C 0 1 plus K T H. Now, for the conservative pollutant k is equal to 0. So, c is equal to c 0 for biodegradable substance we will be using the same formula. Now, if we solve it again, so we will be finding that the concentration remains constant. Okay, so, and it is 66.667. So, the profile is same only difference is that here it is at 66.67. So, that means, as soon as the reactant enters the reactor its concentrations become very less that, that means, at if we mix both the slides. So, it will be finding that it will be around 66 here. So, that means, suddenly there is a drop in the concentration and after that it remains the same and with any relative distance or we cannot uh, presume relative distance in case of CSTR. So, with time it will remain as such and it will ultimately the profile is this. Another thing that we can take the clue is that for the same volume for the same flow for PFR we found that the exit concentration after the treatment was 27 around 27 gram per liter that we found in the earlier case when we solved the problem. So, it was 27 gram per meter cube the profile was like this whereas, for CSTR the profile is like this. Okay. So, this is the difference it is around 66.67 and it is remaining constant. So, for CSTR this is the profile for PFR, PFR whereas, this is the profile for CSTR and for CSTR 
the concentration exit concentration is much higher. So, that means, the plug flow reactors under ideal conditions have better efficiency as compared to the simple CSTR reactor. So, this is the one important key that we can get. So, that means, if we can try to make reactors which are having flow pattern similar to plug flow reactor. So, for the same volume we can have a better efficiency and this is one of the important things that we should have the idea and this is also taken into consideration during the design of reactors also. Certainly, there are other points we are worth considering, but this is very important. Now, uh, we will try to learn the cells in series. Hydraulic model is like we can have complete mixed reactor in series or cells in series. So, there are many types of situation where we can have cells in series or the reactors in series. So, this is a it is used as theoretical model to represent intermediate hydraulic conditions between complete mix and plug flow reactor. So, it is possible that our system is neither CSTR, neither CSTR and nor PFR. So, it is possible that we can have this is another thing in the consider mixing. So, this here mixing is 0, we are not assuming any mixing, whereas in CSTR we are assuming complete mixing. So, it is like mixing is up to an finite value. So, this is these are two extreme cases and it is possible that our reactor may fall in between. So, in this case how to model those reactors we can do it by modeling them uh, cells in series. When the total volume is distributed in only one cell the system behaves like a conventional complete mix reactor. Conversely, when the total volume is distributed in infinite number of cells the system reproduces plug flow. So, and this is more true for, for wastewater treatment in particular. So, if we have to see that we want to make a PFR condition because the efficiencies are higher. So, and in one condition we may have a big reactor, there is a second condition we may have a small CSTRs in series. So, if this is done for the same volume, if the total volume remains same, we will be finding that the CSTRs in series will be having much higher efficiency as compared to a bigger CSTR. This is what we are going to know. So, when few cells are considered the system is completely mixed, but when the system has large number of cells it is plug flow. So, there are two possible arrangements of cells in series as shown below. Cells with equal sizes, this is the cells in series. So, we have cell 1, cell 2, cell 3 all of equal sizes. C0 is the initial concentration and with time they are decreasing. It is also possible to have different size cells, we can see here again the concentrations are decreasing with the number of cells. So, both the conditions are possible. Now, the effluent concentration from each cell is given by the same formula for completely mixed reactor. So, we can assume whatever formula we derived for the complete mix reactor which was like this. So, we can use the same formula and uh, then depending upon the removal rate we can use the equation. Now, we can easily find out for here we can see the exit concentration for 0 order reaction C0 is equal to C e is equal to C0 minus K T H and similarly here. Uh, C e is equal to C 0 1 upon 1 plus K T 1. So, we can combine different cells together and we can come up with the same formula like this. Here all the terms are different because the hydraulic detention times are different. Whereas, here all will be combined together and we can have one uh, simpler formula like this. So, we will try to use this formula for better understanding. Same question which was earlier a system with three equal cells in series. Now, we are assuming remember when only one cell was there the effluent concentration was 66, when the plug flow reactor was there the effluent concentration was 27. Now, we are assuming three equal cells in series has a volume of 3000 meter cube, the influent has following characteristics the flow rate is 6 
100 meter cube per day, the substrate concentration is 200, the k value is 0.4 as earlier. Now, we have this formula, but we have the number of cells are 3. So, that means the hydraulic detention time decreases by 3. So, in place of 5 day, it is now 1.67 day in each of the cells. Now, remember the formula that we have the equation is like this, we have one cell, then we have another cell and then we have third cell. Okay. The concentration is like we can draw like this that C0 is coming here and the after treatment it is going in the second. So, we have 1, 2, 3 all of them are CSTR with good mixing and then the second is going here and the third is coming out. So, we have C0, C1, C2, C3. Now, remember if we use this particular formula for first order. So, earlier also we have derived the equation. Remember this for this we have written C exit is equal to C0 upon 1 plus k T h. So, it was same as this. We can write here also. So, for C1 the formula will be C1 is equal to C0 1 plus k T h because all are same. So, I am writing k T h otherwise it could have been k T h 1. So, in place of k T h we can write T h this is this is the T h hydraulic descension time. Now, for the second case second cell it will be C 2 upon C 1 is equal to 1 plus k T h. Similarly, for C 3 is equal to this will be C 1 sorry this is C 2 upon 1 plus k t h. Okay. So, this is the overall formula which is there. Now, these are the three formulas that we have to apply. Now, if we want to club them together and we want to find out the final concentration. So, if we start from this so C 3 is equal to C 2 upon this, but C 2 is equal to C 1 upon 1 plus k t h. So, it will become 1 plus k t h square. Now, if we want to replace again C 1 by C 0 upon this, so it will become C 0 upon 1 plus k t h cube. So, we have the general formula which was given that C e is equal to C 0 1 plus k t h raised to n. So, this is the formula and we can write for k also like we by q 1. So, this was the c 0 1 plus k total volume upon n q raised to n. So, we can use any of the formula here for finding out the concentration and which is given here. So, concentration is the each cell for biodegradable substance with first order reaction kinetics will be c 0 this and overall efficiency can be C 0 minus C final upon C 0 or C 0 minus C. So, we use this formula for this is the D the detention time 1, 2, 3 the k values are there C 0. So, after first cell it will be 119 then 71 then 43. So, overall this is 78.48 which is the efficiency which is obtained and the exit concentration is 43. So, this is the difference is that that we are getting the exit concentration as 43 gram per meter cube whereas, it was 66.67 uh, when only single cell was used. So, that means when we are using 3 cells there is a decrease in the effluent concentration that means the, the overall efficiency is increasing because we have divided a single volume of uh, CSTR into 3 equal cells. So, this is what we obtain. So, as we are moving from infinite mixing condition to no mixing condition that means, we are trying to model our system towards changing our system towards PFR, our efficiencies go on increase. So, uh, this is the learning and in each of the reactor the concentration is decreasing we can see here.
So, this is the the effluent which is coming at 43. So, we we today we learned a lot of things regarding the ideal plug flow reactor in which is it, it is assumed that there is no mixing the pist it is a flow like piston which is moving from one section to another and there is no mixing in between. Then we have a CSTR or complete mixed tank reactor or complete uh, mixed reactor where, uh, where infinite mixing takes place. So, we uh, try to learn the formula and find out the concentration. Then we model another case where we are assuming that the concentration uh, the CSTR a bigger CSTR is replaced by a number of CSTRs in series and we found that when the same volume of reactor is there for a bigger CSTR and 3 CSTRs in series. So, the in series reactors have better efficiency and the exit concentration is much lower as compared to single CSTR. So, overall efficiency is increasing. So, we will continue this particular section with respect to reactor hydraulics in the next slide and next lecture and we will learn regarding the dispersed flow and other things. So, thank you very much.